Welcome to our channel. I'm Chi. And I'm Yen. So, so on this channel, what do we do? We tell stories. Yes, we do. So we do we do funny stories. We read funny news. And we found this article, which is very interesting. So you see, the title of the article is "Railroad Workers Rescue Rack Raccoon After His Hair on His Butt Got Frozen on the Tracks." <laughs> Shall we go ahead and read? Poor little guy. <laughs> you see, you see his photo. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, so let's see what he's doing. So railroad workers were able to res rescue uh, a stricken male raccoon after it became frozen to the tracks, stuck fast by his hair on his private parts. <laughs> <laughs> let's okay. So the animal was seen facing the oncoming train carriage um, as it straddled on. Uh, uh, one side of the tracks. So, do you know what straddle means? No. What is that? Straddle means so when you're sitting on a horse and when you are riding a horse, it's that that position is called straddle. It's just like this guy. Yeah, just like this guy. So you see, he's straddling on the on the railway track. All right. So then what happened? So the the, the traumatized looking raccoon was eventually rescued by just a five minute operation. He was lucky, isn't he? That's quick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see what happened. Okay. So uh, I poured the water, warm water, under his bottom while a co-worker uh, worked the shovel under his butt to try and break him loose. It takes two people to rescue this poor little guy. Yeah. Neil Malis said this. Okay. So Neil Malis is the guy who saw it, and Neil is saying uh, this thing that they, they put the water. All right. So after five minutes of slowly working him loose, he was free. Jumped off the rail uh, railway track and ran into the woods, never looking back. You know how what this reminds me? No. It reminds me of Life of Pi. Oh. At the, at the end, do you remember? Richard Parker. Yeah, Richard Parker does not look bad. Yes. He doesn't acknowledge. And and that just is, left. Yeah, it's just like that. Of course, what do you expect animals to do? Bye bye. Thank you. You can't. They can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> they can't say that. Okay. Anyways, so it's just how we expect them to do something but they don't and then okay all right so despite the rescue efforts from neil and his colleague nobody could tell how or why the raccoon got into the uh, predicament near uh, i don't know this word Co cochrane i think it's called georgia if some if you're from georgia if you can comment in the video and say how tell us how to pronounce it Okay, uh, so so now Neil says he's just guessing what happened. Okay, so Neil is saying I am guessing because it was 10 degrees outside. Somehow he was crossing over the rail and sat too long and got stuck. Okay. Okay. Now you see this photo. <laughs> you see this photo. This photo is very interesting. Do you see that's his hair from his butt. How can which... he face his family when he? Go back there. Ah. <laughs> Good. Maybe, maybe he doesn't show his behind to anyone for a long time. <laughs> After inspecting the clumps of fur left on the rail, Neil summed up by saying, Operation well performed. <laughs> Yay! Well done! Yay! Little fellow is safe now. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, so we, like I said in the beginning, we have this channel where we like to read uh, happy news and share happiness and joy as much as we can. So, thank you, Raccoon. <laughs> and please share this video with uh, your family and friends so that we have happiness. A, yeah, have a, a laugh. Smile. Have a laugh. Yeah. Have a good laugh. Okay, so share, have, spread the joy and happiness. Alright. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye.